changing units is a problem for most students. Uh, the main problem is that uh, people don't know if you have to divide, uh, you have to multiply. Uh, so we're going to teach you a method uh, where you would never get it wrong. Okay? The first thing that you need to know is uh, the table of the prefixes of the international system of units. Um, I have started with the table here and then I'm going to complete it to show you how to do it. The first, uh, there's some on top and some on the bottom, I'm going to put the main ones. Beta, Tera, Giga, Mega, Kilo, Ecto, Deca with their name of the prefixes. That's lowercase, lowercase, lowercase and then starts uppercase. Uh, that's the unit here and then here you will start with 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3. And then the way to remember this, up from the power of 3 starts every 3. So that's 6, 9, 12 and 15. As I said, there's some more over on the top. If we want to do the ones on the bottom, 30, 70, milli, micro, nano, femto, and ato, and again there's two or three at the bottom. Okay, these are the main ones. Uh, lowercase d, remember this is in da, lowercase d, lowercase c, lowercase M. Uh, this is with a strange letter of the micro, uh, nano, p, f, uh, and ato is uh, an a, I think, yeah, correct. And then here you do the same as you did before, you do two, 10 to the power minus 1, 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power minus 3, and then 10 to the power minus 6, 10 to the power minus uh, 9, 10 to the power of minus 12, and 10 to the power of minus 15. Okay? That's the first thing that you need to know how to come do the conversion, and you should more or less learn this. Okay? Then we're, let's start with the trick that I wanted to show you on how to change units. Let's start with an easy one. Okay? So they ask you how many uh, hours are 300 minutes, for example, seconds, for example. So change 300 seconds into hours. Okay, most people would start to, uh, well I should divide or I should multiply, use always the same method. You get whatever you want to change and then you have to multiply by a conversion factor. That conversion factor should be the following way. At the bottom you should have the unit you want to uh, take away from, from uh, your uh, magnitude, okay. At the top, the one that you have to uh, that the one that you want to get to on the next step, because you can do it in several steps. So, I want to get to minutes now, okay? And then as I, as I want to get to hours, I'll do another step where I want to remove the minutes, so that's why I put them down, and I want to get to hours, okay? Now, I have to put, those are the units, so this way if I do this, I know I'll get the proper... Uh, uh, unit at the end. So now I have to put the factor that changes from one unit to the other. And that's easy. How many seconds are there in a minute? 60. How many minutes are there in an hour? 60. So that's 300 divided by uh, 3600. Okay. Hours, which is 0. Point, it's more than 0 0.83, I think. Zero eight hours. But the good way is that you don't have to remember should I divide, should I multiply, you don't need it. Uh, so we'll do another easy example. Um, how many meters uh, um, squared is 0 0.05 kilometers squared? Okay? I will change that into meters squared. Okay, so I get the unit of the magnitude I have originally, and I want to put the first the units, so I have to take away kilometers squared, and the next step would be uh, I could do from kilometers to uh, ecto, from ecto to deca, from ecto to unit, or I could do it all the way. So I'm going to do it in this case all the way. Okay, 
So that way I know my units will stay well. And another factor, okay? How many meters squared are there in, in a kilometer squared? I wouldn't do it the other way because there's not, it's always the lowest one. You don't put how many kilometers are there in a meter. Well, you could do it the other way. So how many, it's easy to do how many kilometers squared are in a meter squared. Normally there's 10 to the power of 3 um, kilometers squared. 1, 2, 3. Uh, in a, in a meter, meter squared in a kilometer, uh, meters in a, in a kilometer, okay? But when we have squared that, we do double, so that's 10 to the power of 2 and 10 to the power of 4, okay? Uh, so as you get to, to get here, so it's 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 4, 10 to the power of 6. So you have 10 to the power of 6. Another way to do it, uh, to imagine this, is 10 to the power of uh, 3 to the power of 2, okay? So in the end, that's 10 to the power of 6. Okay? So 10 to the power of 6, that's uh, 5 to the power of uh, minus 2. So that would 10 to the power of 4. Okay? Uh, and that's uh, 5 uh, meters squared. 5 times 10 to the power of 4 meters squared. Okay? So we'll do a, a compound uh, one so that you can see it. Uh, let's do, uh, yeah, 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers uh, per hour to meters per second. Yeah. So we put the unit and we do, let's change. First, let's do the kilometers. So we want to remove the kilometers and put meters. And we already know that there's 10, you know, that's the good thing about this method. You know if you have to multiply or divide, that there's... 10 to the power of 3 meters in 1 kilometer. 10 to the power of 3 meters per kilometer. Okay? Uh, so that will rule that. Now I have to take away the hours. Okay? So hours have to, have to go up to the top and I want to leave it in seconds. Okay? So I'll put it in minute meters and then meters to seconds. I can do it in one step. Okay? So this will remove that. In the end I have meters per second which is what I want. This factors, there's 60 minutes in one hour and this is 60 seconds in one minute. Okay? So in the end, you have 10 to the power of 4 divided by 3600. Okay? So that would be, that would be 2. Okay? So that would be uh, 0. Uh, so that would be uh, 1 to the power of 36, uh, 1, 1 over 36, 10 to the power of 2, okay, uh, which uh, meters per second, which is, um, which is 25 nines meters per second, okay. So, with this method, you can change compound uh, units or symbol units, and you don't need to remember if you have to multiply or divide. I hope you like it.